Hi guys. guys, welcome back to our channel. In case you're new here, my name is Maren. And I'm Maureen. So in today's video, we're going to be reacting to a video of a palm colored man who came out to apologize to black people and the black community. And this was because of the research he was doing of how his ancestors behaved towards black communities and what they did to black people. Right, we found this video on TikTok and in it, he was admitting that black people, through his research, he came to realize are the true Jews, right? Mm -hmm. So we want you to watch this video and then we come back and talk about it guys be keen on what he says and then we'll come back and talk about it please subscribe on our channel if you're new to this channel also consider leaving us a comment on what you think about this video let's watch and then we come back and talk about it shalom tiktok how the hell are you you know i was just sitting here talking to dad you see i call yahuwah the hebrew father dad you know because he adopted me i'm a gentile from you know esau and he adopted me in so i i just call him dad you know and me and him was sitting here talking and you know i know that the dark skinned hebrews are the true the true jews you know the true israelites the true chosen ones i know that the dark skinned people are the chosen ones and I was sitting here talking to Dad, and I said, Boy, you, you say that they're going to come and worship their feet and know that you love them. And I was sitting there thinking, he said, You know, I do, I did spare you from that. And I was, you know, I'm like, Well, what do you mean you know, spared me from that? He said, If you'd have been a lawless Christian, he said, That would have been you too. You're going, those that say they're Jews and are not are from the sin of God of Satan so all you Christians that think you're the chosen ones or think that those white folk over there in that, that V shaped country over in the Middle East see the V is the mark of the beast so all the ones over there that think they're the chosen one well my dad Yahuwah the dark skin creator the is the one that's going to make the Christians come and worship the true dark skin, indigenous, black men and women's feet. So he told me, he said, I spared you from that because you acknowledged it and, you know, and respect it, then I'm not going to make you do it. So for following his laws and obeying him, I love my dark skinned brothers and, and sisters, man. These are some of the most wonderful people on the planet. You know, I, I, there's probably truthfully more of them than they are of us when it gets right. Look what's been done to them. You know, while I'm thinking about it, I want to apologize for my ancestors, what they did to you guys, the horrific things that were done to you man i've done some deep studies and i mean just couldn't be any worse it really it couldn't be any worse you know what what you know the babies you know alligator bait all those things i mean i want to apologize for my ancestors you know and just horrific things. I want to publicly apologize for what my ancestors did to to Yahuwah's chosen people. But anyway, I wanted to get on here and let y'all know that. And you know, I love what I was saying is I love my dark skinned brothers and sisters. But I sure didn't want to every time I see you get down and kiss your dusty shoes. So I am glad that Yahuwah spared me from that, but man, I, I so much look forward to eating dinners with you guys, and man, I, I make probably the best salsa in the world. So I look forward to making that salsa for my dark skinned Hebrew brothers and sisters, and, and soon we will be on Yahuwah's mountain all together. So protection in Shalom because we chose to obey the Creator. Everything is upside down and backwards. The world always thought the white man was the chosen ones when really it was the dark skinned man and the dark skinned Messiah. 
not the long-haired, feminine-looking uh, JC that we see up on the pagan Constantine cross. And we're finding out everything is upside down and backwards. Your words are backwards. Hebrew goes from left to right. I mean, right to left. However it is on this camera, it's backwards. But it's opposite from each other. English is opposite and backwards from Hebrew. So they even have you guys speaking backwards with spells and curses. You're completely upside down. I promise you, the more study you do, the more you're going to realize that you're in an upside down world. Good is bad. Bad is good. The God that you thought was good is really the bad one. Jesus is Baal, Jezebel. Study about the Jezebel spirit and then you'll see the spirit in your Christian churches. That's why you have everything that's going on uh, in the Christian church. It's all about the God of money and masons and magic and mystery and masters master slave owners you ever thought it suspicious that the word slave if you take the l out it's save save a slave see you guys you know i started to make a video the other day uh, yesterday 9 11 i was thinking man all the army the military, the police force, that they've all died and been injured and wounded to keep us in slavery. It wasn't for freedom. No, sir. No, sir. The military and police protect the elite, not the citizens. We could police ourselves and do a whole lot better job than uh, they do for us. I promise you. The, the money distribution would be a lot different. But anyway, I just wanted to send you guys that message. And again, I apologize to my dark-skinned Hebrews and brothers for what my horrific ancestors did to them. You know, I choose you guys over them. To make no mistake about it, when the time comes, I'm going with you guys, if you guys will let me. But anyway, I'm going to have to ride in on the backs of one of you guys, so if you would be willing to take me in, I'd sure appreciate Put your name in the comments, and uh, I'd like to know who you are. Shalom. So guys, welcome back. You know, we really can't tell whether this man is being truthful or not, all right? Right. And you know, we are not one to judge, but as per his account, he says that um, he took his time to do research and whatever he found when he was doing his research, it was enough to make him not, he looks not only sad, but also terrified of how his ancestors used to behave towards black people. Right. You can only hope that he's being genuine. Mm -hmm. And by him doing this, I think he'll be able to educate get more of his people something i wanted to just say mm -hmm. i feel like you know right now apology doesn't cut it it's good to apologize because at least that acknowledge you're taking accountability and that acknowledgement right mm -hmm. but at this point i don't feel like apology is enough i feel like if you want to be part of the change exactly other than words. because those are words mm -hmm. they're just words what actions are you taking towards uh, making things right making things right and really showing that um you need to make amends to, uh, of, to, towards the things that were done to melanated people right yeah what I actions are you taking one thing you can where you can start is listen to the person you've wronged and see how you can um how you can appease them because reparations has been a, a topic for a long time in america never did i hear once in this apology video this man give, talk about should finally give them reparations because right. i'm pretty sure by now even one white people are aware of what reparations mm -hmm. are and why black people are demanding of and it. in what form mm -hmm. do they have, have to pay for them to show that they are sorry mm -hmm. right right now i think the biggest message uh, i'm taking away from what you've said is mm. 
why people should finally stop apologizing and start doing actions. the actions right it's good that you, you are apologizing and taking that you, you're bringing the acknowledgement you know but past what are just but they're nothing they're doing nothing for the black community that you wronged right. how about you go a step further and become part of the change through actions you know mm -hmm. and start acting like you're listening you understand right. because anybody could have just gone and seen a viral video on tiktok talk about the true hebrew lights and apology video and you see that okay palm colored people, people and and you come out and, and you, you know, say i want about, to go viral today and i want to make some back while at it right so instead because like i find it funny that they he didn't mention anywhere mention uh, anything to do with reparations and how that can go for the black community and but i feel also, like when you when you're doing an apology mm -hmm. it has to um be all rounded what are you doing mm -hmm. to make amends but also in the same light as we said we don't really truly know where the place mm -hmm. uh, his heart was at when he was making this apology mm -hmm. and that is why for me mm -hmm. i feel like uh for people like this it begins with one person sensitizing their side of race you know okay. uh, sensitizing palm colored people mm. and uh you know we just hope that if their own kind teaches them right from wrong they'll finally start catching up to what black people have been saying mm. because okay. we really truly can't say his heart wasn't in a good place or it was in a good place it's mm. not our place to say that mm. yeah. and another thing i wanted to i wanted to ask you you know is that how comes in you know the way black people were treated in america and during sla the times of slavery around the world right mm -hmm. I, I do believe that like if you're human you have to know if what you're doing or the actions you take against another human being mm -hmm. whether they're right or not right mm -hmm. it's like you know doing to people what you'd like to be done unto you you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. so my question is how do you get to this age where you have you're you're doing your research and then only in that moment is where you decide you want to apologize because you feel like you know mm -hmm. you, you you feel like now you're coming into some certain information and you're knowing the true identity of the hebrew lights mm -hmm. and you you want to be in good graces so that you, yeah people do change you know i do understand that but why is it that certain people and i mean palm colored people choose to live the, a certain way of life being very um discriminative towards people and committing acts against humanity against certain types of groups of people i think they're able to live this way because just as he said growing up their government and their education system has made them believe that they're special because mm. they're palm colored mm. their education system literally makes them believe colonization or slavery was of benefit to people of melanated people you know mm -hmm. they are meant to believe that the god's special ones mm -hmm. that the god's chosen ones and this is how they this is why they behave the way I, i'm not trying to find excuses for them but i'm the, trying to explain his thought process mm -hmm. uh why he decided to to come up on the internet and say whatever he said right. i'm trying to think is, is that uh is that coming from how they were brought up and what they were being fed uh growing up i wouldn't know guys we did an episode about um how palm colored people are taught about um colonization and, col and slavery exactly i think we'll attach it on this video. video so that you can go check it out if you didn't have the chance to write mm -hmm. yeah. and what was quite mind-boggling to me was that how they choose to sieve out history and how they only choose to teach um history to palm colored people it just something that favors their ancestors so that their children cannot view them as, as the true the true monsters they are instead their children view them as heroes, heroes of some sort right and, and they view uh, black people as barbarians right and in the black community as well i did realize that we received a lot of comments about how when they went to school nobody used to really teach them about the the struggles their ancestors faced and about the true you know the, the true happenings people that is yeah the yeah. true happenings of slavery until um they would go back home you know all melanated people when you go back home your parent was the one who took that initiative to tell you the truth the extras, 
the extra truths that weren't included in the curriculum right and the true history of of what had happened you know mm -hmm. so i don't know what you're taking this is guys let us know what you think about this episode but to be quite honest uh people like this who are now waking up to the reality of what slavery was i hope that they can also teach their children instead of following the system of saying that white um children don't deserve to be taught the truth because it will break their heart mm. are black children do black children deserve to be broken for, for their hearts to be broken when their moms and dads tell them if a police stops you you know they are given the rundown of how to behave when a police stops them put your hands on the wheels where they can see you do this do that do black children deserve to go through that right it's time for i feel like it's time for palm colored people to start teaching their children the true history of slavery mm. and for them themselves to also start being educated not for them to wait for black people to come and start educating them on how things used to be and what needs to change and right. that being said i also think that with black Black people, much as these palm colored people keep saying, oh, it happened a long time ago and that you should forget about it, we should never forget about it, no matter the destructions they put in the middle here in between. You, mm -hmm. should, you can forgive but you should never forget right so, but anyway guys let us know what you think about this video on the comment section we want to thank thank you so much for joining us on today's episode let's catch you on the next also consider subscribing if you have not already and leave a like for the video because it helps it spread further right right let's see you on our next episode